Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I could do a video where I show you different dresses to suit your body shape. Basically, essentially, I've got and accumulated a lot of dresses at the moment. Some were kind of gifted and um, a lot of them, quite frankly, are ones that I have bought myself. I've done this video a couple years ago. It's actually one of the first plus size videos i ever done. And I makeup on, we're in the house. We're still in lockdown. I just thought it'd be a nice way to do a chatty video and just discuss and talk clothes because it's just nice to talk to people and just show you, try on clothes together. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's try on plus size dresses. These are my dresses right here. Um, as you can see my wardrobe now, it looks really organised from here. I promise you it's not. Um, not going to lie to you all here. These are all jumpers. Um, got quite a few jumpers post-isolation. Which a lot I haven't worn because I didn't go out. So I literally was wearing the same things. And yes, yeah, so they're probably going to just go. I'm going to pack them away nicely and neatly. Probably vacuum pack them and put them in the loft till next year. Because I want to ruin them. And then here we have... And then here we have dresses. Um, so we have a lot of dresses. We have like tea dresses, we have long dresses, we have dresses with sleeves, just all that jazz really. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna show you my top five um, because we'll be here all day, quite frankly. I can do like part twos, part threes. I just don't wanna overwhelm you and put loads in this. So let's try on some dresses. So we have a long mirror to show you because I know a lot of you, um, I feel like I'm quite bad at showing like the whole dress. So this is the full dress. Um, this is a size 20 and I got it from a Tesco, so it's F and F. Um, I wouldn't usually go for a long dress, but I love it so much. I feel like it's actually quite flattering. Um, and because it's not massively huge, it still shows like a bit of my figure, which I don't feel like is a bad thing, hopefully. But yeah, I love the neckline. Is, is this called like a sweetheart neckline? Don't quote me on it. Um, and I just think it's lovely. It's so lightweight, it's not really thick. And I just think it's gonna be the perfect summer dress. If you're the same, I'm like five foot four, I think, five foot five maybe. Um, I think. It is definitely one of my favourite dresses. I feel like it feels like a nice, like, girly dress. It feels like, I feel like you feel very pretty in it. Not that you're dressed up, because I feel like it's a casual, but at the same time, just a very nice dress and I love it. And the best part about this dress is, it literally cost me £12 because I got it 50% um, off in the FNF sale. Um, I do believe that is now over, um, but I believe the dress is still in there. Um, I know it's a bit like, shit, if you have to pay... 25 pound for it but i would personally i know it's like easy for me to say like oh i would have bought it full price but i generally would have paid full price for it because i just think it feels like such good quality and it's a beautiful beautiful dress so the next dress we have on is from boohoo boohoo is a shop that i love and i order from all the time whether or not i'm doing a collaboration with them or just in general shopping i have i need to stop shopping but i just love boohoo so much their clothing is so affordable and quite honestly i just love everything they have on there um this dress i was kind of gifted i did a haul with it on saturday um which you, which i think which quite a few people have already seen um i'll leave this is in the link i'll leave the link again and i do have a discount code which hopefully fingers crossed works now i'm not 100 percent sure if it will but i'll leave it down below if you to check and i'll try and chase that up but this is the dress. Um, I'll do show you in the mirror again, just so it's easier for you to see. So it's a so it's a very low V neck, and then it's quite short. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like this is completely okay though, and I would totally just wear this with cycling shorts. Um, I feel like then it's like if you flash someone, you've not because you've got cycling shorts on. Um, I love it. I feel like it's too nice to take back just because I'm short. Again, like I said, I'm like I feel like I'm five foot five. I think. Um, and I'm usually like a size 20, so a 22, but a lot of the times I get a 22, it doesn't fit, but sometimes a 20 doesn't fit, so if I could do a 21, that'd be great, but that's where we stand. Um, this was, again, um, quite inexpensive, I think it was about £16. Um, it feels like beautiful quality, I love the sleeves, because it's got them puffy sleeves, but it's not too puffy. And then this is what it looks like, I really like this, I love the shape, and I love the detail, and I love the pattern. And I love the pattern. So again, I feel like this dress is just a complete, wi complete winner. I feel like because of the colour of it, if you had really fair skin, it'd really complement your skin tone. If you had tan skin, it would really suit your skin tone. If you had a dark, or if you have a lot of dark complexion, it would completely suit you. So I feel like this is a beautiful dress. Um, and it's probably one of my favourites I have now. Um, I wish I had somewhere to go out and wear it. I don't, but 
I hope, which is I feel like why well, I want to keep making videos and put it on because I just want to show it to people. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this and I feel like this is the type of dress that I hope you guys would all like to. Next up, I wanted to feature a dress from River Island Plus. Um, River Island Plus is a shop I feel like I go on about quite a lot because I feel like it's one of the places which does not distinguish, distinguishly, is that a word? I think it is. I think it's the right word. It does not like just do clothes what you think plus size people would wear features clothes they have in their usual 8 to 16 section or 8 to 18 i'm pretty sure it is in river island and then they do the same clothes in the plus size section too which i feel like is very important and a lot of shops don't do that so this is this dress this dress costs 28 pound i believe it's now in the sale though so if you can save some money um do so and i know it was on the sale on asos so i'll try and link that down below if it's doing stop but i'll show you this one again in the mirror this is like my comfort dress i've worn this so much if it's been hot or sunny in isolation this has been the dress um so the top bit is a very like very good quality it's not thick but it's a very good quality like t-shirt material i love that it's high neck because i love a high neck but it's round neck at the same time um i don't get super hot in it although it's like on the thicker side um and then the bottom is long it goes rub the knee and it's like this really it's this really weird like very good material like i don't know if you can feel it it's like quite i don't know if you can feel it, it's like quite thick um, it's the type of material that creases very easy. I love this so much. It's the type of dress I feel comfortable in. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. It's this, It's just the type of dress that I feel comfortable in around like where I live. Um, I don't know if anyone agrees with this. Um, if you're like me, there's certain dresses I won't wear. Just, just I don't know if anyone's, everyone's like this. There's just certain dresses I don't feel, I feel like I don't wear around here like where i know people i don't know why um but there are dresses that i would just will just wear on abroad like on even on holiday like in this country i just won't care um but this is the type of dress that i will literally wear around here i feel totally comfortable in it and yeah i just really like it and it's a really good quality like black dress so yeah i really like this and i'll try and link it for you guys where i know it's in the sale too so next up, I feel like I had to feature this dress. Seeing as I've got so many views lately and comments saying how you love the Zara dress video. So I thought that I'd feature this one again. So this is a Zara polka dot dress. As you all know, um, if you watched Saturday's Boohoo haul, that I got this in literally reverse colours. Um, so I'm going to show you that as well. But this was £50, the most ex ex expensive dress in my collection. <laughs> and it looks like this. So you do have to wear nude underwear, but... This is the dress. Um, this is an XL, I believe. Um, so it's from Zara. So just for context, it fits. And um, I do have a few clothes from Zara. So yeah, as I was saying, this is just one dress I feel very pretty in. Just I just feel like this in my wardrobe. I love that it's in my wardrobe. I love that I feel like I have like an expensive, nice dress to put on. And I do really like it. However, that being said, this is very similar. There's no difference. The fit is the exact same. This is a size 22. And there's quite a lot of extra room in this. I'm not going to lie. Like quite a bit. But I'm just, I think I'm going to keep this size. Um, I really like it. Um, I feel like, again, I'm going to get a ton of wear out of it. This was really inexpensive. I think it was about £18. So it's a fraction of the price of the Zara one. I know Zara actually do do a black and white polka dot one now exactly like this. So I'd say check out Boohoo because I just I don't see any difference with like the quality um, or anything like that. And obviously if you are a plus size girl, Zara don't, if you are bigger than say a size 20, that's a, got a little bit of room. But if I'm honest, I'd rather something like this with a bit more of a looser fit um so i would definitely just recommend going to boohoo but just wanted to show you this one because it's amazing for the price it's insane it's an excellent dupe and they cater for plus size girls so yeah i just wanted to show you this one as well so last but not least we have the only off off shoulder i was gonna say off shoulder um like non-sleeve dress and that's his cami one from boohoo again you can tell i like boohoo <laughs> um so off the bat, looking at all these dresses together, I'd probably say that this would be my least favourite. This is what it looks like, and it's a little bit questionable. I feel like now without a belt, I'm going to show you one with the belt. So give it time. We think I really, really like it. I think it's totally different to anything. I have, um, I need different underwear on with it, 
but I really, really like this one. This one was so inexpensive and I just really like it. I think it's so different to anything else I have. I don't have anything like this. I actually don't own any other dresses off the shoulder. Um, I have any other dresses off the shoulder, which I find really weird. Like I literally, you can see my wardrobe here. I don't have any. And cause I really, really like this one. Um, why are my arms like, you can actually literally tell cause I'm tanned on my arms up to this point because I don't wear dresses short sleeve and I don't know why um, and I definitely want to start trying some new ones although a lot of you even suggested because I said in my haul in my haul that I wasn't sure about the dress and a lot of you even said to put a t-shirt on underneath this which I didn't even think about so I'm going to try that on um, so I'll try that in another video too but yeah I really like this one I'm so glad that I picked it up and if you're a bit like me and you're a little bit unsure on dresses like this I totally recommend just order this one try it out and I really think that you'll like it so that is it for this video I really 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 hope that you've enjoyed it i actually really really enjoyed filming like this chilled one i haven't done one like this in literally ages but they're probably like my favorite ones to film if there's any other things you'd like me to try out if you'd like me to do a part two because we've still got we've still got all these dresses to try out so if you want me to do a part two let me know um if there's anywhere else you want me to film a haul from let me know um just a little heads up i have an asos haul coming by the end of this week which actually features more dresses in which i know is bad but it was 20% off, so we'll see what it looks like. I wanted to do a video on ASOS because a lot of you asked, and I haven't done one on there for ages since last year. So, yeah, let me know what videos you want to see. Thank you so much for 6,300 subscribers. It literally blows my mind, and it means the world to me. Um, thank you so much for watching. I don't know how many times I can say that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!